hello welcome back today we're going to put this notebook through a rigorous test to basically see how good the paper is this is a steology notebook stology i don't know how to pronounce this St stology um it has an accent over the a otherwise i have nothing to go on the cool thing about this notebook is that it has over 365 pages so it could be used for some sort of yearly project that uses a page every day, but the paper is not very thick. It is some of the thinnest paper I have ever seen, uh, thin enough to rival Tomoe River paper, uh, but I don't think it is Tomoe River paper. I think it's a different paper, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't think they give like stats or specs on like what it's made out of, what kind of coating it has or anything like that. It says right on the label that it is strong enough to prevent ink bleed. So that's why we're testing it, basically to see how far I can push this paper. Uh, I've been a lot less artsy in my journals lately, but I like to know if I can use things like fountain pens, watercolor. I just got some paint pens. Um, so we're going to test it out on all of the different kinds of pens and paint that I have. So I've got a bunch of supplies here. I'm going to test the Pilot G2 gel pen, some Sakura Micron pens, Tombow Furanosuke pens in black and in a neon color, Tombow dual brush pens in a light color and a dark color, and then the Archer and Olive acrylograph pe paint pens in a light color and a dark color. And then we're going to test multiple layers of watercolor. I'll label everything as I go, test out all these pens, and then we will come back and talk about how it went. Okay, I got everything down, including a maximum of three layers of watercolor and watercolor over pen. I had one notebook, I don't remember which one it was, uh, but it could handle watercolor fine on its own, but if you put it over existing pen, it would leak through the page. Now that we've got all of our stuff on the page, I'm going to turn the page, 
And the first thing that we notice here is that you can see right through this paper, it's very thin. Uh, if ghosting bothers you, this is one of the worst notebooks for you to have. Um, it's not really a surprise to me. Uh, it, it is very thin paper, just like Tamoy River paper. And I am a big fan of Tamoy River paper. Uh, I just don't, I don't see the ghosting usually. Um, it just doesn't like register to my eyes. This is a little bit worse even than Tamoy River paper. And so for, for this one, I will probably keep it a note taking book. I probably won't do anything too complicated on these pages because I think that could get a little bit a little bit busy visually. In most cases for these pens we have no bleed at all. Even the three layers of watercolor did not bleed through the page and it doesn't even look like it's buckled very badly. Um, that's a benefit of thin paper is that when the paper is more flexible um, or you know it's it's not thick enough to retain its shape, uh, the buckling is is a lot less noticeable. I know I had a notebook with very, very thick paper and the buckling was unbearable. I hated it so much. <laughs> we do have some very slight bleed in places where I was particularly aggressive. Um, so for the Pilot G2, I have this spot where I basically just scribbled a whole bunch. There's a couple of dots of the, of the gel pen ink bleeding through, but it's not very bad. And we see the same thing with other pens. Basically, wherever I did just a bunch of layers of pen to really, really stress the paper, we have a couple of little dots where the ink has bled through. If you're sitting like a normal distance away from the page, like it's sitting on a desk in front of you or something like that, you can't really see it, um, but you can see it if you look close and possibly if you're sitting in full daylight. I've just got my desk light here. The watercolor over the pen looks fine to me as well. No noticeable bleed there. And uh, all in all, I mean, you can see for yourself, as long as ghosting doesn't bother you, this is a pretty sturdy paper. You could probably do full page watercolor art journaling and be totally fine. Like I said, because the paper is so very thin, I will probably avoid putting anything too colorful or too busy on the back side of the pages. Um, so probably just like fountain pen notes, maybe some some easy sketches, uh, things like that. I think you probably could use it for that if you want to, but at that point the ghosting might get a little bit too extreme. I'm not sure. I think you'd have you'd have to test it out for yourself and just see see how you feel about it. Nice quick video today. Just a good old notebook paper test. It's always a good idea to do tests on new notebooks um, so that you don't end up with a surprise. Uh, you don't end up ruining something by accident. It can be really heartbreaking like uh, like when I discovered that, that neat little trick that the notebooks did with the pen on one side and the watercolor on the other side. Um, and now that I've done this test, I can make a more informed decision about which notebook I want to use for daily journaling, which one for general note taking, and so on. If you're looking for something very similar to this, but a little bit thicker, um, like I said, the, the 68 GSM Tomoe River paper is really good. I know that they they apparently have recently changed the the formula of the paper and it's not as good according to some people. I'm not sure if I just haven't seen that or if I haven't gotten any notebooks with that paper, but I I continue to get Tomoe River notebooks from various brands and I I really like them. I think they're really really good for a sort of multi-purpose like slightly artsy journaling practice. So that is my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you, or at least that you found it a little bit relaxing. I think it's kind of fun to watch these little pen test videos. In the comments, if you have an opinion, let me know what your favorite kind of notebook is. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for Vlogmas, and I hope you have a lovely day until then. Bye-bye!